one, I'm going to show you guys a gorgeous example of what's known as a wild pied ring neck dove. Now these two, as you can see, are really pretty uh, examples of the different types of pattern you can see in these birds. Now they are both, believe it or not, known as a marked pied. And these little birds have a coffee colored brown coloring in their feathers. This one right here is about to reach its final molt. And you can see right here in the feathers how defined the coloring and the spots are and how it's like a color blocking. So it looks really pretty, like they've been splattered with paint. Really gorgeous. When you get over here, you can see the, the appearance before they reach their final molt. How it's a little more faded, just barely starting to develop and come in, okay? And with these birds, it's almost like a photograph. They just develop over time and it takes about a full four months. So since this one's younger than this one right here, you can see the, there's quite a bit of a difference. And this one, when it was little, you could tell right off the bat it was gonna be super colorful. This one, not so much, it just had a few spots. So you can see where the pattern ended up developing very, very differently, all right? Now this one's a gender tested male. And my guess is that it's a full grown, or it's gonna be a full grown standard ring neck dove. And this one appears to be full grown already as it's reaching its final molt, which is about four months old. And this one has not been gender tested yet, but when they do, I suspect it's probably a female. The reason why I think that is because miniature, because this is what I think this is, miniature fem female ring neck doves tend to be quite a bit smaller, okay? See the huge difference in size? Now, males and females overall, between uh, ring neck doves, they, well, they, the males do end up being, uh, becoming very larger, very much larger than the female. But this is quite a bit larger. And this one's younger, all right? So you can see what I mean by, by the miniature versus the standard size ring neck dove, okay? So, and don't mind the tail. She cut her tail wet earlier, so it's still drying. But as you can see, she's very, very pretty. And he's going to be just as gorgeous once he reaches his final colors. Um, these colors, believe it or not, wild pied isn't as common here. But when we do breed them, they tend to be very colorful like this. So if anyone's ever interested in a wild pied ring neck dove, do not hesitate to reach out. Now, both of these birds have been uh, reserved, reserved and sold. But um, we're always on the lookout for others. And we are always readily you know, advertising, letting everybody know, hey, we had this or we had that, okay? So I thought you guys liked to see that. Thanks for listening, guys, and thanks for watching.